Hi guys, so this is The Real with L. Okay, so a lot of times when you're looking at tarot card readings and you're getting tarot card readings done for yourself and you're getting psychic advice, that's spiritually based, right? Um, that's a lot of hope, that's a lot of prayer, that's a lot of manifestation. The Real Corner is practical advice and we can couple it with the advice of the Tarot, or we can find a parallel. So the question is, what is the end game? A lot of times, if you've had a reading with me, you've heard me ask you this. When I get on the phone, when I am doing readings for other people, the question is, what is the end game here? What exactly do you want from this situation that you're in? More times than likely, I am dealing with a situation where there is a young lady, a young man who is a part of a third party. So this is the narrative somewhat similar to someone dealing with a third party. What is the end game? What do you want? What do what 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 do you desire? How do you feel about this connection, right? So if you say that your end game here is to be in a committed relationship with this person, whether you're dating them and you're not a third party or you are a third party or there are others involved, you need to know what you're after. When you enter a university, you know that you have upwards four years to get at least a bachelor's degree. And you know the end game, the end result here is the bachelor's degree. So you know what you're doing there. You know why you're there. For some of you, you need to ask yourself the question, what is the end game? Okay. It once you des decide what the end game is for you, you need to then implement some strategy. What's the strategy here in order to get your desired outcome? Then we need to talk about execution. What are you doing in order to get a desired result or or outcome. Then we need to talk about results. What it what has resulted from your strategy, your execution? What are the results? You need to understand. A lot of you need to understand that sometimes um, you can't be so spiritually minded that you're earthly no good, right? Um, you need to have strategy, execution, and results in order to get exactly what it is you're looking for. Whether it's a relationship, most of the times it is, um, or whether it's the, a job or starting a business or whatever. Um, I do have one little fun fact here. If you are in a third party situation, maybe you're dealing with a married person or you're dealing with a person who's committed do you know, statistically, the wife leaves the man? It is not the other way around. Statistically, the statistics are higher in regards to the woman leaving the man. What does that tell us about our strategy? That the strategy needs to somehow be formulated around, it needs to include the wife. Sounds a bit sinister, but... If this is what you want, you have to apply some practical, rational plan, okay? Do know, so how we couple this information with the Tarot, what is the end game? What do you want? What do you desire? What are your feelings? That would be the cups suit, the two of cups, the three of cups. Strategy would be the swords, seven of swords, a plan. Uh, eight of swords execution would be the wands what are you doing in order to what are you doing effort behind wh what you really want what do you do uh meticulously uh consistently results would be the pentacles what have all of these things that you've done your strategy and your execution what has it resulted in so, and, and and this is a good way to have, to kind of, you know, maybe a checks and balance about yourself and about what it is you're doing in order to get the desired outcome. This could easy, easily be implemented for a business. 
uh, starting your own business, getting a job, um, reconciling with uh, long lost friends or family. What is it that you're doing in order to get a desired outcome? Now, we've only fashioned it in regards to maybe a third party here, but we can switch things around and make it useful to any aspect of your life. A lot of you, you have, once again, being realistic, rational, practical, ask yourself the question, what do I or what do you have to offer that the other woman or man doesn't possess? This sets you apart. This is a part of your strategy. If you cannot readily answer that question and it be something uh, useful, then maybe you need to really dig deep into re in regards to what it is you really want here in, in this position. And once again, this could be implemented towards starting a business, reconciling anything. Um. For a lot of you out there who I get the question all the time, well, my guy tells me that he is super unhappy in his relationship, in his marriage. I don't understand why he just won't leave. I don't understand why he, you know. Okay, men and women are wired differently, okay? Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, all of that. Wired differently. Most men, when they deal with stressful situations, most men seek out temporary fixes to stressful situations, while women will seek out permanent fixes. An example, divorce or separation. We are looking at the permanent fixture to this problem, okay? And for men, they're looking at a temporary fix so their fix might be an extramarital affair. This may be the third party situation, hanging out with the friends, doing things that would increase uh, the, the feel good endorphins. Not necessarily that they fix the, the problem in its entirety, but definitely they have uh, brought a bit of joy into their life. And sometimes that joy is another person, is you, the third party. And, and, and they can't see past the fact that you bring them joy in a joy, joyless, um, um, a, a very turbulent or stressful situation. You are the missing piece to that puzzle. So if you take that bit of information with you also, you can then start to formulate a real hypothesis about what the hell is going on in your relationship with this person who is either committed or won't commit or still has options or whatnot, okay? Uh, once again, this can easily be fashioned to any aspect of your life, but I think this is good for a lot of you who are too far left on the spectrum in regards to um, spiritual and uh, uh, twin flame and soulmate. And when you're too far in the clouds, sometimes you have to ground yourself with rational and practical advice here. And we've coupled it and we've, we've kind of instituted the Tarot here. Okay. All right. So I hope that this helped you. This little real corner with L. I uh, will keep these going and um, tell me how you feel about it. All right. Bye.